Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be showing you how you can post on your Instagram from your computer and without need to install your Instagram application on your phone. You can just post it from your internet browser. And this trick works on all browsers. I just happen to use Google Chrome right now, but it has similar steps for all browsers. So let's get to it. As you can see, this is my Instagram profile for my YouTube channel and there is no option here to post on your profile. And as you can see here, it says get the app to share your first follow or video on Instagram. But somehow they do allow you to upload the IGTV videos from here. I don't know why, but it's weird. As you can see, if I click on the tab for the IGTV, it will give me an upload button right here. If they can let you upload the IGTV videos from here, they can just let you upload photos as well. But unfortunately, that's not the case. No worries, I will show you how you can post on Instagram just from your browser without any apps or extensions or anything. It's a really simple trick that you will do to make Instagram think that you are actually browsing from the mobile version. So let's get to it. The first step is to click on the three dots at the top right corner to show you the Chrome menu and click on more tools and click on developer tools. Or you can do it in my way which is the simplest way by just right clicking on the page and click on inspect which is the last option on the menu just like you see on the screen right now and it will give you this page right here with a bunch of code on it I know it looks complicated but don't worry we won't touch that code at all so the second step is to click on this icon right here and this will transform the web page into a smaller window and it will give you an option right here it says laptop screen or whatever you use and if you click on it it will give you a bunch of options here on the options if you look at them they are actually a devices so what this option does basically is simulating your browser experience so it will fake your browsing experience into some of the device if you pick for example iPhone it will tell the website you are actually using an iPhone and that's exactly what we need to trick Instagram to make it think that we are actually using an iPhone so let's just pick an iPhone from here and as you can see, the web page has become just like you are browsing from your iPhone browser. But there is no upload button right here. So the last step, which is basically just refreshing the page. And as you can see, after refreshing the page, here it is the regular option of Instagram at the bottom screen. So let's just click on the plus button to pick a photo to upload. And also after clicking on the plus button, the pictures files will be blurred just like you see on the screen. You can bypass that just by clicking on the option and pick all files from format drop menu. And this works for Windows also, not just Mac that I'm using right now. So I'm going to upload my channel logo for this demonstration. And as you can see, it has all the options just like you are using the Instagram application on the mobile. You can apply filters on the photo or you can crop the photo or whatever you want. And also write in a description for the post. And also you can apply the tags on it. As you can see, once I type in hashtag YouTube, it gives me all the hashtags that are similar to YouTube. And you can pick a location where you are posting this picture from. And also if you want to tag people on the picture. So once you finish all that, just click on share button and give it a moment to be posted on your profile. As you can see, the picture has been posted successfully. And if I click on my profile, you can see the post right here. So let's just close all this and refresh the page to get back to the normal Instagram default and see if the post was there or not. As you can see, here it is the post is successfully posted on my profile. So if the video helps you out, help me out pressing the like button and make sure to subscribe if you like my content and for more future videos. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.